This video will be about how to animate free on an iPad, completely free unless you want to purchase an Amazon stylus. So let's get into it. Hey, it's King Animated, and welcome to this video of how I animate. So first off, you want to have this app called Ibis Paint X and iMovies. So first, you got to open up this, and I have all these animations on already that I've already completed. So you click Add New One. You gotta click the plus button. And then you'll see all these options. I just keep them all on the default setting. It seems to work for me. So then I'll have to click OK. I get into my drawing. Now I draw my little character. So I click the little thing to um, that little bar to get a perfect circle. I like to keep my, like the thickness of the line at 10. You can use your finger for this. I used it when I was just starting animation, but I would not recommend it. I use um, an Amazon stencil thing. So now you want to do a quick, I'm going to just do a quick little drawing of my little character. Oh, I, now I realize that his legs don't really fit on the drawing. So I'm going to go to the arrows and I can move my little guy anywhere I want. So I'm going to finish his legs. I'm going to draw his other leg. Okay, I messed up so I'm just going to click to the back arrow. I keep messing up. If it doesn't look good how I want it, I just click, click in the back arrow. You can zoom in with your fingers to get like a really precise viewing. All of the like tools are on the left. You can zoom in, zoom out, pretty much as deep as you want. Now I'm gonna do a quick little arm. I'm trying to make it as like close to perfect as possible for doing it real quick. Now you got a bucket and it just fills in the color. So I want his head to be like, you know, like a peach color. And then his shirt will be red. Now I gotta do the eyes, so I usually will make it like about 20 for the dot. The eyes usually take like a like a, the longest because like you gotta have them like positioned right or else they kind of look weird. So that kind of looks off. Gotta do it again. That looks off again. So it crooked. Kind of looks off. Crooked again. That looks right. Okay. So now I'm gonna draw a mouth. I'm gonna lower the thing to about seven. I'm just gonna draw a little smiley face. Now that looks really weird. I'm just gonna draw a little, just that, yeah. So now you wanna click the back arrow. You wanna click the save photo JPEG. Now it's gonna take a minute to load and then you're gonna click save image. And then from there, it should bring up, uh, it should be saved. So now you wanna go to iMovies, which I put right next to Ibis Paints. It's loading, taking a while to load. You wanna click new movie. These are all the animation movies I've had, except for I've removed a few. You wanna click the dude you just made. Click create movie. That's gonna take some time to load. Okay, now we have our guy. Now you wanna click on him, and you wanna click key burns disabled, because if not, he'll like move up and down the screen where you don't want him to. So iMovie doesn't let you like have the whole paper in there for some reason. So it looks like we made him too big. So now we gotta go, we gotta delete this guy. Got to go back to our little character. Got to go edit. Now we got to go to transform in the top left corner, and we're just gonna we're just gonna pinch him smaller. So now he should be the right size to fit the uh, iMovies. So we go back to iMovie. Wow, this is taking a little bit to load. It's kind of annoying. Now you want to go to moments, and it should just be right there in the thing in your like photos. So now you gotta turn off the burns disabled so it doesn't float around. You put him where he wants where you want him in the picture. And then you wanna grab one of the yellow lines and like make it smaller. You can see the time and like the top like of where his head is because if not it will be too long. If you're just trying to make him do a simple wave, it'll be like the waves like an hour. So now we're gonna do a quick little wave so we're gonna raise his hand. Now you're gonna, gonna bring it up to 10. I messed up there. I like it at 10 because it keeps all the lines about the same, except for like the eyes and the mouth. So I'm gonna move his hand up there. Keep, it's not clicking. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there it goes. My um stencil is messing up there. Now this is 100% free, both those apps, but you can use your finger which will make it free. I just got a simple little stylus which was like 10 bucks on Amazon. So yeah, it's 10 bucks, but I mean like, it way help, it definitely helps with the animation. So now I'm gonna make his little hand, and then I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna click this back to photo JPEG save. 
Save image. And I'm going to go in again. I'm going to move his hand slightly to the right. Just a little bit. That was a little bit too long. Come on. Come on. Come on, stencil. Work. There it goes. My stencil keeps, like, not working. i got to fix it. i got to clean the stencil part. Okay. So now we draw the little hand. Now you erase the one on top. Now when you get to the bottom, you get really close. So you don't, like, mess up the, um, his already made arm. Because that's just annoying to fix. It does happen. It's really annoying. His arm is a little bit too long to be waving. But it's just a quick, and I just want an example. Now I clicked the wrong button. I don't want to stop recording. Okay, so now we go photo, JPEG. Save image, again. You go back to the iMovies. iMovies has been having trouble loading today with me. I don't know why. Okay, now that we load in, you click the little waving guys. One. There's the other guy. Now, you see the little two um, things in the two? That? Yeah. You want to turn that to none, because if none, it has a, a weird transformation animation, and you don't want that if you're just trying to draw a simple little hand. Now we got to turn key burns disabled. And now comes a little tricky part, is you have to line them up, like, exactly so it looks like they're not moving, except for their hand. So we're going to raise them up a little bit. We're going to go back and forth, seeing if it moves. And you can see its head moves a little bit, so we're just going to keep playing with it. That looks pretty close. So we're just, I mean, when I make my, like, actual animations, I try to get it as perfect as possible, but since this is just an example, we're just doing it quick. And, yeah. So now that we have them, like, all lined up, looks still a little bit off. I'm trying to make it as, <laughs> it's hard to make, like, I don't want to half-ass it for the quick little how to animate tutorial. Now we have a little, little dude moving his arm, then he waves. So that's just a short little stick figure waving. You can have as complex or not complex as you want. So that looks, it's it. I could have made it better if I took more time on it, but I don't want a 10 minute video on this. So now that we've done that, let's go. I'll show you what normal one of my videos look like. That was two seconds worth of animation part took us seven minutes. It takes about, it takes like a, a few days to make a full animation doing voiceovers and stuff. Those blue lines are all the voiceovers I've done. It takes multiple, there's a little animation, they all move. And that's my little character. So yep, that's how you make a free animation. Remember to like and subscribe on my video because I make animations. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.